What are you doing? What is the, what's the plan? Hello everyone, I'm Alana and welcome to my new channel that is either Alana IRL or Alana and Friends. I don't really know yet. We technically have 30 days to decide. I might make it a poll at the end. What the fuck, dude? What? <laughs> There's water right there, bud. It's right there. What are you doing? You little weirdo. I decided to make this channel because I've been on YouTube for a very long time now and I have been making very different kinds of content. Um, I'm known for gaming content. That's where all my subscribers come from. That's where I get the most of my engagement. Like the subs always come from a gaming related video, not from any personal content. But because I was always like, it's a hobby, I can upload whatever I want. I make personal content too. I was also uploading personal content and I would lose subscribers every time I would upload personal content that uh, includes stuff that I will be making here instead, which is the Australia versus USA videos, where I talk about being, you know, foreign in the US and stuff that I've noticed. I'm gonna make a bunch of those here. Videos about getting my eyebrows tattooed. I'm gonna completely redo that stuff. I'll properly vlog it and actually show the process. And there's a lot of stuff that I've wanted to make that I haven't made because it like just feels weird. It doesn't, it just doesn't feel right on the existing channel that I have, which is, I want to do uh, drunk advice, which is a thing I did forever ago where a friend gets drunk and then I ask them life advice questions that you guys would submit. The personal Q&As will go here, Idiots and Abroad and Red Lips Orange Car will go here, Red Lips Orange Car will be up on Friday. Hey. So a thing that we thought we could also do is show Rahul's painting. What you doing here, bud? Okay, so you know we've got that alien board game. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what Ripley's flight jacket was the colour. So I think I colour matched it. <sighs> that seems right to me. Wait. I don't actually know. Well, I've got reference pictures. You tell me. Hold on. That looks green. That, you think those are the same color? Really? Yeah. That's so much darker. What's darker? This, the, the photo. It's going to darken when I put on a wash. Agrath Earthshade's got a green tinge to it, so mm. it's going to green up more. It looks a lot darker. Well, I'm gonna put Agra Earth shade on it. What do you have to put on it? Agra Earth. <laughs> it was so zoomed in on your face. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> this, is... this is like peak lazy. This is the laziest thing I've ever seen. We also got this very cool um, dog DNA test kit. Uh, from James and Elise. So while Bear is still a foster, I will make uh, an entire video about him and his situation and why he has a half-shaped butt. I'm also gonna do a DNA test, figure out what he actually is. They said he's a shepherd mix, which all of my fosters have been, either full shepherds or shepherd mixes. We don't know with what though, cause he's got real floppy ears. I was gonna do a vlog of the Champions League. Uh, we now have several Liverpool supporters. Rahul over there. OG. John Smith. Omar, um, who you might know from Funhouse, all uh, Liverpool fans at this point. Or, well, John, we're just kind of roping into it. <laughs> it's going to be fun though, so I thought that I would vlog that. I have to get surgery soon. Um, well, I'm opting to, and, and it's something that I think might help a bunch of other people if it works, so I was going to document parts of that. You're getting it tightened. <laughs> I was also going to do more content for my consistently growing female audience, so... I don't know what I'm doing, but people ask me for like my skincare routine, so I was gonna do that kind of stuff. Uh, makeup vlog stuff. I really wanna start doing a series where it kind of like hot wings. I have male friends do my makeup. I think I'm gonna have John be the first, so he'll be the test case. And I interview them during, so they will have no idea what they're doing. I'll just give them a bunch of stuff and they'll try and figure it out and see how they go. But I was gonna do like, I'll get Ethan, uh, Crank Game Place to do one, and Eddie Burback. I might ask Nikki Jakey to do one. I'll just ask a whole bunch of friends, a Bruce Green, Lawrence Sontag, a lot of them, a bunch of people to do my makeup while I interview them about like their careers or what they're, they're up to. Uh, Cause I thought that would be a really fun thing to do. And it's stuff that I have always wanted to do cause it's creative and fun, but I don't think fit on the other channel is basically the issue. I may also do some like really lowbrow fun content, like um, having people submit funny TikToks, like just really basic, easy, dumb stuff like that, that just seems fun. I don't really know, but the most important thing is uh, 
it's going to be stuff that I've never made before, some stuff I have made before that I'm redoing, um, like the stuff about getting cosmetic tattoos and the uh, Australia versus USA stuff. The podcast, of course, Red Lips Orange Car and Idiots and Abroad will be going up here on the same schedule. Uh, Red Lips Orange Car is just late this week. And yeah, maybe I'll do some art stuff. He's definitely going to have, if we have Rahul painting minis, do some stuff with Jacob building Gundams. And if this is something that I can grow, I think that I'll probably end up doing a lot more stuff with that crew, get more creative. Um, and I guess this is the part where I say that essentially this uh, channel is partly funded by Patreon. Like the stuff that I get to make it was inspired by that. It was like, well, we have support for the podcast. People are clearly interested in more content from this thing. Why don't I just make a whole bunch more of it and get a lot more creative with it? So obviously I can't promise a tremendous output. I still have a full-time job. Um, gaming is still my main focus. This is more of like a side thing that I'm doing for fun that I think is just gonna be fun. So that does mean that like, if I'm really busy, it will fall off. Where I do try to stay pretty consistent with the upload schedule for um, gaming where I can at the moment. It only ever falls off if I'm traveling really. But I'm gonna try for at least a video a week. It might even be easier than that, because like I said, it seems like it's fun, so it might even be easier. We might even do some commentary stuff, some social commentary stuff. I had done some of that on YouTube and mostly taken it down. Um, so yeah, it's for everything other than video games and entertainment. So TV reactions and, and movie trailer reactions and whatever, um, or reviews, are still going to stay on YouTube.com slash This channel will have everything else, and I'm excited. Let me know if you have any ideas for things you would want uh, that I've never made before. And well, let's have a good time. Thank you for being here. To answer the reason why I felt like I had to do this, it was ultimately that, yeah, any time that I upload uh, something that has nothing to do with video games, I lose subscribers every time. And I get why. It's because people subscribe to video games. There could be people who their whole feed is just video games, right? And then they see this video that's about me getting tattoos and it doesn't fit with anything else. It's not like I ever really cared about that, but it, it is so consistent that I was like, okay, I recognize that this is very confusing to people. It's also that I think it will help me in terms of organization, that it's easier for me to figure out what to make and when and how to categorize the content that I'm making. I think it's just gonna make it make more sense in my head and make me uh, a bit more functional in terms of the output for YouTube content creation. It's also that the personal stuff gets a lot of views, so people are definitely interested in it, but those people also aren't necessarily interested in the gaming. I'm just trying to like cater to the two different groups of people and also to myself and also to, yeah, just give myself more freedom in terms of what I can make, which I think is a good idea. So I think probably one of the first videos we'll have up is uh, getting Bear, or Banjo as we are calling him, his DNA test. <gasps> Unboxing. Rahul got a whole bunch of very cool stuff from Sideshow that we were going to do like a mass unboxing of. Um, Champions League vlog, podcasts, all that good stuff. It's going to be a good time. Food reviews. What have you got? What is it? Oh, oh. here comes Bear. Here <laughs> he comes. <laughs> you got me strips of bacon? Yeah. Thank you. Um, Protein and that. Uh, Bear, go away, no. Oh, look at him. Look at him. What a good dog. It's a scrambled egg, bacon, brioche. What's the review? Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> what a good boy. <laughs>